hi guys welcome to another market breakdown video and then we have a lot of pairs today so i'm gonna start with the dxy on the weekly chat chat and i'll use this highest high and i'd have this as my lowest low here and then we have a structure within here that we should cater for around this area here. and as you can see we are at that mass psychology area we already broke that structure and i think people will get caught in the wrong side around that area and we have this nice ascending channel and this is the overall 90 percent rule around this area here and then let me cater for the lowest rule around this area then moving to the hour chart that is where i'll be catering for the patterns inside this overall ascending channel or bullish trend so looking at the last leg i'll be focusing on this area here so we have like a pattern within a pattern and then ideally i'll be looking for selling opportunities maybe at the double top or we can get like a pattern extension and get either touch at the top of the structure around this area you'd have like your one two three at the top of the structure and then you look for sales from there so let's switch to the four hour chart let's just check like for momentum and anything that we have missed like on the higher time frames so we didn't miss anything so now i'll just do like my forecasting let me just this um, chart like this and then my forecasting is like this this is the first one and then the second one will be like this and i know that the market has to reach like this these two areas around this one this is the first one and this is the second for me to get like those selling opportunities on the dxy so that is it for the dxy and then let me just keep up for the 90 percent rule i'll chat then we're done so let's look at uh usb czar let me just push it up a bit just put this one at the top so yeah let's look at usb czar on the weekly chart so since we are looking for selling opportunities on the dxy then it means uh us desire should be selling also so we have this high here and then we have this low slow around here on the dxy and then we have the highest high at the top of the structure like this you can just zoom out if you want but those are all the important key areas and then moving to the daily chart looking at the last leg you can see that it's corrective and then we broke that mass psychology area so already people are looking for buying opportunities that is when you can look for your selling opportunities so let me just cater for the trend the overall trend is to the upside and then we are looking for reversals on this one so this is the overall trend to the upside as you can see we are already at the top of the structure which means we came for selling opportunities is in our favor then you have your 90 percent rule and i can just remove this uh, red line and just put another one here just to cater for that override then moving to the four hour chart that is where you'll find like your pattern or uh, within patterns so as you can see here we have some type of a pattern at the top of the structure like this with a double top a failed double top that is we have this type of price section at the top of the structure and moving to the hour chart that is where you'll see everything nicely and then also i have to like cater for the 90 percent rule of this uh, pattern then a pattern so this is the overall 90 percent rule and as you can see here we had like some type of a double top but then there and then we had some type of a mini as a channel but then that overall pattern so ideally what i'll be looking for is a third touch at the top of the structure just this you just push this one back a bit like that so ideally i'll be looking for a third touch because we have a first touch seven touch 
and then if you get the third touch that is when i'll be looking for a rest gain tree at the top of the structure like this and my stop loss is just above here i'm protected with i'm protected by the overall larger structure first take profit on the third touch second take profit on the 90 percent rule knowing that i'm expecting the market to break the larger structure and then the second entry would be this one here for the larger double top which is this one here if the market reaches this area and then gives us like a candlestick confirmation or a tight flag that is when i'll be looking for continuations to the downside and then another entry that i'll be looking for at this one here at the break of this overall ascending channel after the break then i'll be waiting for a low risk entry around this area here a push down and a tight flag six to eight hours and that is where i'll be looking to take sales on this area first take profit is around the 90 percent rule just because that is where the market will turn and then give you like a larger flag so looking at nzd usd let's start on the weekly chart so let me just zoom out okay so looking at uh usd nzd usd on the weekly chart you have this nice double bottom around here trying to form up and then as you can see the market hasn't reached like uh, that area we are still in uh, selling opportunities and then moving to the daily chart then on the daily chart you can see that we have this overall downtrend like this okay so looking at this overall downtrend we haven't broken any structure people are not caught in the wrong side as of yet so you can just wait it out up until we break this overall structure and get like a push up and a nice flag for us to get like some type of entries so let's just continue moving to the four hour okay and then on the four hour i think we have like some type of an inverse head and shoulders around this area here inverse head and shoulders trying to form up around this area here i think this uh right shoulder will be the one that will break like that muscle collegi area before we can push back to the upside i think it will just reach this area here after reaching the same area and then it will just pop back to the downside break the area and then come back with a high momentum so what i'll do on this one is that i'll put like a ray line around here if you break this ray line then i know that the market has changed direction so let me just put another trend line like this just because this can be like an inflection point around here like that so you can look for short term uh, sales on NZD usd up until you break structure now. so let me just do this looking at this i uh, here looking at this inflection point then you can see that price is moving in some type of pattern form like this just this we have a nice pattern trying to form up around this area here like this so on this one for us to get like short term sales the market has to reach this area give you like an impulse down an impulse down and then a tight flag six to eight hours launch here and then you take your sell at this point and then stop loss just above you're aiming for that overall outer structure for eight percent then another entry that you can take is that if the market breaks back down around here and then you get like some type of a tight flag you know that you're protected by this overall outer structure around this area here so you can just take a safe entry around here and then your stop loss can be just above here and knowing that you're just targeting like that my psychology area here so uh, let's switch to another pair euro chf so on euro chf let's start like on the weekly chart so that we can get like the overall structure all of that stuff so the overall structure is to the downside as you can see here the market has been breaking uh, structure 
going to the downside it has been breaking structure so let me just remove those and you just zoom out and as you can see here already people are caught in the wrong side at this my psychology area around here or a psychological level so let's cater for the highest high and then you have your overall structure thrown out and what you can do is that you draw the outer structures this is the outer structure the overall outer structure and then people are already caught in the wrong side of which is a good thing so let me just do this and then moving to the daily chart so on the daily chart uh, i think i'll be focusing on this current market structure around here around here and then you have this overall nice descending channel okay so put the 90 percent rule also and then already there is no need for us to have like this ray line you can just remove it and then put another ray line here just in case if the market decides to drop and then give us like a double bottom and then push back to the upside so you are covered on that one and then moving to the four hour chart and then on the four hour chart if you're trading like uh, your support and resistance then you would have like an entry around this area here around here just because this is a break and a retest and you look for buys from there so let me just remove that and let's focus on the entries that we can get switching to the hour switch to the hour chart and on the hour i think the market is very very corrective it's very very corrective it's unsustainable for the market to move like this way so i think it will just give us like a larger flag i think the market will just drop from that area from that area around here let me just put another little area here so yeah the market will just give us like a pop to the downside a tight flag from here you look for source until it reaches this point and then that is where you can look for continuations to the upside and let me just zoom out and see if we can get like some type of a trend going on yeah i think if i do this we have a trend going on so yeah on euro chf you can look for short term sales and then long term buys and then let's look at and the DCHF on the weekly chart. So on the weekly chart already I've thrown out like this double bottom area. Then you have this highest high here. And then the market has been going to the downside for the longest as you can see. So uh, I think we can get like some type of reversals up until like this area here. And then already momentum is kicking in on and the dchf as you can see here so let's move to the daily chart then on the daily that's where i always draw like my outer structures so this is the outer structure that we are working with currently we just put it nicely okay yeah this is what we have yeah. okay yeah like this and then you can put like your 90% rule at the top of the structure and then moving to the 4 hour chart uh, I think the market is still not showing us like its hand at the moment just because the overall trend is to the downside we haven't broken structure and then yet it's corrective around this lake here and we have a double top around there and then switching to the hour chart so this is what we currently have at the moment and i think the market will just pop back to the downside and then reach like this double bottom area before pushing back to the upside so let me just do this so we have this type of a trend or a pattern at the top of the structure double top and the market is corrective the reason why i think uh, it will sell a bit is because the market is corrective so it may just up to the downside and then give us like some type of continuations to push up until here create a double bottom then that is when we can push back to the upside 
and let me just check yeah and then in that case you will have like a w formation as you can see here you will have like a w formation if the market decides to pop back to the downside so let's look at uh nzdchf uh, on the weekly chart and let me just zoom out so on the weekly you just zoom out and then look at the overall structure then we have the slow here of which the low was broken and then the market reversed to the upside as you can see then we have this highest high around there and the market has been going to the downside for the longest on this one so let's just draw out like the overall structure this is your overall structure you have two touches at the top and then you have three touches at the bottom which means you are expecting to get the that touch at the top of the structure of which is here or the market to reach like the 90 percent rule of which it's highly probable for the market to do that so moving to the daily we have like a pattern but then a pattern this one here a descending channel but then a descending channel high probability setups so let's do this Okay, so you have like the 90 percent rule on the outer structure and then you have like the 90 percent rule on the inner structure and then let me just remove this one here okay yeah so we have this overall nice structure and then i'll put like a override around here just because the market tends to give us like a double bottom before pushing to the upside just to gain the like, strength and let's move to the four hour we check for momentum so the momentum on the four hour is not that bad it's not that bad so let me just put this three line trend line correctly and i think we will have like an inverse head and shoulders around this area here around this area here i think we will have some type of a inverse head and shoulders then let's move to the hour chart Then on the hour chart, uh, currently we have nothing on the hour chart, to be honest. So what I uh, will be waiting for is for the market to break this overall structure. After we break structure, that is when I'll be looking for continuation patterns on the outer structures. Just because this movement is not confirmed yet, it will be confirmed up after we break like this pattern here. I break this pattern then I'll be looking for it that touch on the outer structures so I can just wait for this to happen just because the market is already correct around here then we are looking for impulsive moves so yeah that is the trade that I can wait for around here and then the stop loss is just go here for it so you're targeting 8% on this one so Let's move to GBP AUD on the weekly chart. We just zoom out. So on the weekly, as you can see, the market is pushing to the upside very aggressively. And then we broke structure around this area here. Then we have this highest high around here. Then we have this overall trend to the downside, of which it hasn't been broken. And then we have this trend line at the lows around here like this so what i expect the market to do is for us to get like the third touch at the top of the structure of which is here and break this overall trend and then we reach the 90 percent rule and then the bigger trade will come if we break structure around here and then we continue to the outside and moving to the daily chart and then if we don't break structure i'll just be neutral with everything just because i see that the market is selling so if it's selling then i'll be looking for selling opportunities mostly than selling than buying opportunities so let me just zoom out and as you can see on the daily we have this high here 
of your stomach that broke very nicely and then went back inside and then that shows that we can get like some type of continuations to the downside instead of reversals to the upside now so this is what we currently have um chair and then we have the 90 percent rule around there so this is what we currently have and then people are caught in the wrong side around this area here and then we switch to the hour chart then on the hour chart you can already see that the market has given us like uh, a few entries and then we have this one here that's our entry so yeah i'll see you on another video and then you can look for an entry around here for a sell and then you take profit as around here so yeah i'll see you on another video guys